Hi everyone, I'm Lauren and welcome to my Art Nook. If you'd like, please check me out on Instagram and check out my Etsy page. Um, so today I'm doing another art haul video. I'm very excited about this one because it is my birthday art haul video. Um, my husband allowed me to go to Michael's and just fill up the shopping cart with whatever I wanted. <laughs> no limits. It was great. Um, so the first two things I have here, um, the first one was a stamp pad for alcohol inks. So basically you can take a stamp and stamp it on that pad and remove alcohol from like the alcohol inks that um, I've done a video on before. It's really cool. I'll have to show you how it works in one of my future videos. Anyway, the other one was a blower so you can move the alcohol around. These are watercolors, um, but they're in like liquid form. They're super cool. So I'll have to do a video on those to show you how they work. They're super beautiful. I love how like vivid they are. This is resin. It's a resin kit and some resin molds so you can make like coasters. I've never worked with any of it. <laughs> so resin is all new to me and I'm super excited to try. Um, a lot of the stuff I got was experimental. <laughs> I'd never tried most of it and so it was all gonna be new little excitements. So this was a really cool stamp. My husband just started picking up stuff and throwing it in the cart <laughs> and he picked up those two stamps that he just knew I would love. Um, and of course I got washi tape because I am addicted to washi tape. Um, this is some really cool um, Pebio Prisma um, paint. Um, the Pebio Prisma paint, I'm just going to talk while I go through my washi tape. The Pebio Prisma paint, basically you can use it on any flat surface and as it hardens, the Prisma paints make a honeycomb effect. Um, they're very flexible, but they're also very hard. So you can use them on the book covers, you can use them on um, tiles, you can use them on all kinds of stuff. So I'll make videos on pretty much everything I pull out. Um, the can bottle spray stuff, I just use that to seal all my paintings to protect them. This is a super fancy, ex like, it's an X-Acto knife, but it's not by X-Acto. It's by Friskies, I think. Friskies? I can't remember. <laughs> but um, it at the end of it, that orange part bends down, and that's where you store your extra blades. And it's supposed to be super comfy in your hand, and it, and it is. It's super comfy. Um, and I just it's really nice and sharp, and it was kind of hard to figure out how to open and close that end piece. I wasn't being too safe there with the knife sticking out. Probably should have capped it before I was fiddling with the bottom of it. Always remember, be careful and safe around sharp pointy objects. Um, so we're going to get all the trash out of here and we're going to dive into the second bag of fun little goodies I got. Um, so I got this little journal. It says, love, life, love, laugh, meow. And it has a bunch of kitties and I love kitties and dogs. I love animals. Um, this is a wood burning set. I've always wanted to try wood burning because you see all those awesome videos on Pinterest. You're just like, I want to do that. Well, I'm going to try it. So um, this has like different temperature settings, like just color coded. Like if you're doing wood, don't go to this temperature. If you're doing something else other than wood, go to this temperature. So it's pretty cool. It um, came with all kinds of different tips that are different shaped. I have no idea what they do, but they just screw on and off that very tip kind of like bronzy part, just unscrews and you just replace it. So it came with this neat little like holder part that I put on there wrong and I'm not paying attention. Pay atten oh, I wasn't paying attention. They went all over the floor. I had to pick them up. This is like ready to go liquid um, pour acrylics. So if you've ever seen anyone take a cup full of like liquid acrylic and flip it upside down on a uh, canvas, that's what these are. But they're like already preset because normally you have to put something in your acrylics to make them that liquidy and to make them make those little cells that you always see appear and like cells like c-e-l-l-s <laughs> just to clarify like to make those little like bubbles that like bursts of color 
between all the different layers of uh, paint that you put in your cup. So this is, comes already pre-mixed, pre-made, ready to go out of the bottle. All you have to do is put it in a cup, put it on your canvas, or I guess there's other techniques where you just pour it on the canvas and you blow it around with a hair dryer or a heat gun and it makes all kinds of beautiful cells. So we're going to play with that as well. And I wanted to show you how many colors and just how pretty they are. So I flipped them all upside down. So it's like you can see the colors better on the, from the bottom than the top. So here I am. I flip them all upside down. Ta-da! Pretty rainbow. But now I gotta flip them all back the other way. Otherwise they're gonna fall over too, like wood burning. This is the canvas, I guess you call it. Because um, it's not canvas. It's not a canvas material. It's like a hard plastic board but it has like a wood frame around it that's for either resin or for the acrylic flow this one though the second one that I have in my hand now this one is canvas it just has like a cardboard piece inserted into the back to give it more stability so we're gonna try it with these but also with just plain canvases to see what the difference is this was like a nice little like water can to put your paintbrushes in if you're doing like oils or like all kinds of stuff and like you can close it up and carry it to the like kitchen to pour it out and you're not gonna spill it everywhere um but my husband insisted i get one of those instead of using my broken narwhal mug named nanette <laughs> um i thought this would be nice because i saw some really cool painting techniques using wide paint brushes so I got that and we'll be playing with that as well in another video um, then my husband surprised me with just a few presents and this is one of them and that that hammer has a name the name is Jonathan after a funny video we saw um, with Ant-Man jokingly saying that um, Thor's hammer is named Jonathan so the hammer's name is Jonathan uh, I had no idea what this is. If you knew what this is right out of the box, bravo. I was clueless. It's basically one of those things where you hammer in a bunch of nails, then take the string and you just tie it to each nail and it makes a picture. And he got me one that's a little whale and I thought it was the cutest thing ever. I love it. And he got me also two like extreme, like intense paint by numbers. One of them is just kind of like a real pretty like forest scene that's like different colors. And then he got me Starry Night, which I love. And it, it's so cool. But you can see like it is hard. So tell me what your guys' favorite item was that I got and how excited you are to see me try them out. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, like. I'll check you out later. Bye.